Hey, welcome back to a slightly different type of a video. Um, in this video, I want to explain the right hand rule and how we sort of calculate the direction of cross products. So in this case, you know, if we did P cross Q and Q cross P, uh, we know that the resultant vector, the vector product, uh, would be in a direction that's in and out of the plane. But, you know, we want to answer, well, which direction is it? Is it coming out of the whiteboard or is it going into the whiteboard? So that's what I want to go over in this video. Um, I'm also going to talk about a couple of different uh, special cases. And over here, we'll do a, a very quick review of what we covered in the last video. So in vector statics, when we take the cross product of, let's say, vectors P cross Q, the order of these two uh, vectors matters. So this is P cross Q is not the same as Q cross P. The direction of or the uh, ordering of how you write these vectors does matter. And so you can sort of see it here. We're going to answer the direction of these two cross products right here. And in one case, it is Q cross P and in the other is P cross Q. So we are going to have two different answers there. But very quickly going back to this equation right here, we know from the last video that if we did P cross Q, we would get a resulting uh, vector product, which I just called V. Now, the magnitude, if you remember, of V is going to be the magnitude of P times the magnitude of Q times the sine of theta. Now, theta is the shorter or the smaller angle between these two vectors. So if we go back over here, we can see that vector P is over here, vector Q is over here. So if we did P cross Q or Q cross P, the theta that we're looking at is the theta between these two vectors, the smaller angle. So it's not going to be this angle right here, this exterior angle. It's going to be this interior angle. Now, theta has a restriction. It can only be 180 degrees or less. And so that's why we can't take this outer theta because this is obviously greater than 180 degrees. So whenever we use this formula, P cross Q, and we try to figure out the magnitude of the vector product, you have to make sure that theta is the smaller theta between these two vectors. So the magnitude is simply just P times Q times the sine of theta. Okay, but this video is about, well, the right hand rule. How does our right hand tell us the direction of this v vector. Remember, this formula just gives us the magnitude. How do we figure out the direction of v? So imagine that this whiteboard is the plane that we're looking at. This is the 2D plane where these two vectors, p and q, uh, live. So these are coplanar forces, meaning these are forces uh, or force vectors within the same plane. Now, when we take the cross product of these two vectors, we have to use our right-hand rule to figure out which way the resultant vector product V is oriented in. It's going to be either out of the plane, so into the camera, or into the plane, into the whiteboard. Now, the way that we do that is, let's take for an example case one, where we do Q cross P. What is the direction of Q cross P, or what is, you know, V when you take Q cross P using the right-hand rule. So the way that this works is, well, we first need a right hand. So you take your right hand and these four fingers right here, you line them up in a plane just like that. And if it's Q cross P, you look at the first vector Q and you take those four fingers and you put them right onto Q just like that. So in this case, my thumb is actually pointing into the camera. Now, we know that the theta that we're looking at is this smaller theta here between Q and P or P and Q. So this theta right here. And what we want to do with our right hand once it's lined up with Q is if we're doing Q cross P, we want to take our right hand and curl our fingers into P just like that. So our four fingers are aligned on Q. My thumb is sticking right into the camera and I want to curl or cross Q into P. And you can see that when I do this, my thumb is straight into the camera 
and it's going out of the whiteboard. So we know by the right-hand rule which direction our vector v, the vector product of q cross p, is directed in. In this case, because my thumb is going out of the whiteboard into the camera, we know that that vector v is going to act just like this, perpendicular to these coplanar forces. So the right-hand rule is really just kind of a, a quick visual way of understanding which direction this vector v, this vector product, is oriented in. So again, for case one, where we do q cross p, we're taking our four fingers, lining them up with the first vector. In this case, it's q, so I'm going to line up my hand just like that, and I'm going to curl in the direction of theta into p, and what do you know? My thumb is sticking out of the whiteboard into the camera, so I know that that vector v is pointed this way. Now, what if we looked at case two where we did P cross Q? Well, step one is to always identify where your theta is. And in this case, theta is still the smaller uh, angle right here between P and Q. Now, in this case, if I took my four fingers, remember we're doing P cross Q this time. If I took my four fingers and I pointed them or I laid them right on top of P, now, there's a little bit of a problem here because if I curl my hand this way, remember your right hand rule can only curl in this direction, there's a bit of a problem. And that problem is I'm curling in the wrong theta. I'm, I'm curling in this theta right here, which is far more than 180 degrees. And remember, we have to curl in the direction of this theta right here. And remember, theta is always 180 degrees or less. So if I take my uh, hand, my right hand, and I put it on top of P and I try to curl this way, that is incorrect because now I'm curling in the direction of this larger angle. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my hand this way so that when I close uh, my fist or curl my fist, it's curling in the direction of this theta right here, which is the correct theta. That's the theta that's in this formula. Now, when I do that, when I do that, you can see that once I curl this way, my thumb is pointing into the board. It's pointing into the board. So it's going away from the camera into the plane this way. And remember, our cross product V is always going to be perpendicular to these two coplanar forces. So we know that vector V is either gonna come out of the plane or it's gonna go into the plane. And in this case, because this is theta and we're taking P, so we line up our hand and we curl in the direction of theta, our thumb is pointing into the board. So we know that for case two, our vector V is starting here in this plane and going straight into the whiteboard. Okay, so that's pretty much the right hand rule. We take the first vector in any cross product uh, calculation that we're going to do, we take our right hand and we put our four fingers on top of that uh, vector and we make sure to curl in the direction of the theta. So again, Q cross P, we take our right hand, we curl it in the direction of the theta, my thumb is pointing out so we know the vector product is going to be in this direction uh, for case two. We take P, in this case, I can't curl in the larger angles. Instead, I'm gonna move my, I'm gonna flip my hand around and I'm gonna curl this way. And in this case, my thumb is pointing into the board. So for case two, we're going the other direction. Now, there's two special cases I wanna talk about. The first case is that if P and Q, and I went over this in the last video, but if you did not see that video, uh, these were the two cases that I talked about. Let's say P, uh, so these force vectors, P and Q, in both cases, are still coplanar forces. They're still within the plane of this whiteboard, so it's still 2D coplanar forces. But in this case, P and Q are in exact opposite direction. So the angle here is 180 degrees, and the angle here is also 180 degrees. Well, how does the right-hand rule work for this case? Well, if we did P cross Q, thetas are the same. If we put our hand over P and we curled in the direction of theta, our thumb is facing this way. So you might say, oh, well, it's, it's pointing this way. 
Well, no. The vector v is actually going to be 0. Why? Because it doesn't matter which theta or angle you take in this case. They're both 180 degrees. And, well, this formula says that, well, you need to take that angle, plug it in here, and the sine of 180 is 0. So if this term is 0, it doesn't matter what p and q are, the vector or the magnitude of v, the cross product, is also going to be 0. Okay, great. So what about this second case right here? In this case, vector p and q are in the exact same direction. And so if we did something like p cross q, well, you take your right hand and, well, there's no theta, right? Because the angle between them is essentially 0. So in this case, the angle was 180. And in this case, the angle was 0. So if we take uh, either 180 or 0 and we plug it into this formula for theta, sine of 180 is 0. And then the sine of 0 is also 0. So in these two cases right here where the uh, force vectors are exact opposite directions or the same exact direction, the magnitude of the cross product is going to be 0. So the right-hand rule really doesn't apply.